Today, we're covering how to model in ARCHICAD the five most common roofs you'll come across. We'll start with a fresh slate. Just a quick side note, if you're starting from the typical template, let's say we have walls drawn and we draw a roof over, it's gonna look like those walls have disappeared. We just need to click the roof, floor plan and section, tap this here and then just go to transparent. I'll start with the hip roof. All we need to do for the hip roof is go to the roof tool and select geometry method multiplane. From here, we'll select the middle and click on the outside of the wall and drag it all the way across to the other side. <laughs> Simple as that. Now, if we want to change the pitch of the roof, we can just go over to the left hand side here. Say we want a 30 degree pitch and that'll increase the pitch one down. Our next roof we're going to want to cover is the gable roof. Again, let's select the roof tool. We'll click and drag from one exterior wall to the other. Now we'll want to select the roof, click this ridge point here and in the pet palette, stretch the horizontal ridge until we meet that wall. And same thing for this one down the bottom here. Now, if we go into 3D, we can stretch this wall up to the top right click connect solid element operations have that as the target then have the roof select it as the operator subtraction with upward extrusion and execute and we've got a gable roof if we want to modify the eaves we can just select the edge of the roof go to the pet palette using offset edge if we want say 600 we could bring it back to the wall then drag it out hit tab 600 and we've got a 600 eave likewise for down the bottom 600 okay Onto our next roof. Next, we'll be covering the skillion. Select the roof tool. This time we're going single plane and then we'll select along the exterior portion of the wall. This is the pitching point. To explain pitching point really quickly, your roof, your roof is going to hinge from that pitching point. Anyway, we'll click. Now, this little eyeball will pop up. You'll want to point that icon and click it in the direction that you want the high point of the roof. It'll make sense in a second. Just watch this part. We'll click on the right hand side now I'm just going to draw the shape. In this case, I'll just draw a rectangle, finish, and we'll go into the 3D. And now you can see what I mean. So that eye points up to the top. Let's go back in. If we want to do this more accurately, let's click top down to the bottom, eye facing the way we want the high point being. We'll select bottom left to the top right. Now we can't see it here at the moment, but if we hold shift, then click tab, we'll see that we can select the roof. From here, I'll click and drag on the edge. In the pet palette, I'll set offset all edges. I'll type in the measurement 600, enter. And now we've got a 600 eave around the whole way. Again, if we want to change the pitch, we just go into this left-hand option, type in say five degrees. And if we wanted the walls to meet up to the roof, we just select them, click and drag up, select those as the target, our roof as the operator, subtraction with upward extrusion and hit execute. There we go, We've got the skillion done. Our next roof is the butterfly roof, a somewhat uncommon roof due to the fact that it creates a box gutter in the center of the building, which if it overflows can cause water damage throughout the home. So uncommon, but if you need to design one, this is how we model it. We'll select the roof tool, just like the skillion. We'll select single plane. From here, I'm going to select in the middle, drag down eye icon that we've got there at the moment, and I'll point it this way. And then I get to draw the shape of the roof. So from here, I'll click in the middle down to the bottom left. I'll select the roof, click on the edge and I'll go offset say by 600. I'm going to drag this side back into the middle. Then I'm actually gonna give it another say 150. That's the area I'm gonna allow for the box gutter in a minute. From here, I'm going to select the roof and then I'm going to mirror the roof hitting Control M or on Mac Command M. Tap Control once, holding in Shift after to make sure that the roof is locked in at the correct angle, then click, excellent. Let's see how that looks in 3D, nice. Let's give that a bit of a heavier pitch. We'll go over to pitch, type in 10, enter. Now, we want those walls to extend up to the roof. So let's select those now. I'll click on the walls, drag them up. From here, I'm going to select target. I'll deselect the walls. I'll select the roof, select operator, then subtraction with upward extrusion, excellent. Now we've still got these two little walls here. So what I'm going to do for the box gutter, I'm going to model up a flat roof. I'll just point the direction this way and then I'll draw a rectangle here. I'll select the roof and I'll change it so that it's zero. Let's go back into our 3D. I'm gonna change this so that the material, just a render all around. I'll select the box gutter. I'll select it as the operator, the walls as the target. And again, subtraction with upward extrusion. Excellent. Now, when we change our roof pitch to say 15, our walls are going to match it as it goes up and down, which now leads us to our final roof, the Dutch gable. Very similar to the hip roof in the first steps, we'll select roof, we'll select 
geometry method, click the bottom left hand side and drag up to the top right hand side. Let's go into our 3D. We've got our hip roof, but now we want these gable ends just at this area here. So what I'll do, I'm going to take the roof, I'm going to duplicate it by clicking and dragging, tap control and holding in shift then hit tab. I'm going to go 10 meters across just so I have a measurement I can pull it back once I've finished modifying it. I'm going to take this ridge point and push it until I meet the pitching point. I'll do the same for the bottom here. Now, if we have a look in the 3D, we've got a hip and a gable, and we're gonna integrate those two. So I'll take this back, 10,000. I'm going to bring this edge back to where the ridge is. I want this about 1.5 meters, 1,500. And I'll bring this back to the ridge point, and I'll bring this out 1,500. Now, I'll want to select the hip roof as the operator, the gable roof as the target, and then I'm going to just hit subtraction and go execute. There we go, and we've got a Dutch gable. If you'd like to see more ARCHICAD tips, you can check out this video over here. And if you'd like access to any of my models, I'll have links down in the description.